It is a lightweight bout between Max Holloway and Anthony Showtime Pettis. Here he is, the former UFC lightweight champion, a man for whom one name is good enough, Showtime. And you watch him. You know that when he goes, it's going to be a show. So when he turns his back to the camera and points at the Showtime, right. it always gets people excited because in a few moments, you're going to watch something very, very fun. From that Showtime kick to the submission of Vincent Henderson in Milwaukee to the knockout of Wonder Boy Thompson, even in defeat, when he fought Tony Ferguson. The stock of Anthony Pettis continues to rise even though he's been here for a while. As versatile a finisher as we have in the game at present, moves up to welterweight, promptly knocks out Stephen Wonderboy Thompson as a sizable underdog that night. Far be it from me to doubt anything that Anthony Pettis can accomplish in a mixed martial arts setting, and he is back for more here tonight. Well, his 13-fight winning streak is no more, but Max Holloway still makes this walk here tonight as one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world when it comes to pace, pressure, preparation, cardio. Few guys are going to be able to match what this Hawaiian brings to the team. And he can do it all. He's got great ability to get back up once he's taken down. He has takedown ability, but it's the range and the distance management that makes Max Holloway such a problem for everyone at 145 pounds. He doesn't seem as though he's doing 100% effort with every strike. He's just touching you. Right. But the accumulation of damage that Max Holloway will put on you will make guys just fold in front of him, as we saw with Ortega and in both Jose Aldo. He's a big featherweight. We have seen him compete at 155 pounds. He has said he wants to move up to welterweight <laughs> before his UFC and career is he said and done. He wants to beat me. Yeah, he wants a shot at the heavyweight show. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. <laughs> And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Pettis is five years the elder. He will have a three-inch reach advantage. All right, now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Taekwondo fighter, holding a professional record of 23 wins, 10 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, USA, presenting the former UFC lightweight champion, Anthony Showtime Pettis. And now with his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, six losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Waianae, Hawaii, Max Blessed Holloway. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch. Ready? You ready to fight? Do all right, so here we go with round one. Classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh, yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both these competitors. Great punch, landed with so much power. Just out of range with that right hook. Big punch from the clinch. Ooh, another shot to the head. Couple of chins here being tested early. 
look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. The right. Oh! Whoa! Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Oh, huge kick to the body. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Nice kick landed there by Pettis. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Anthony Showtime Pettis. Oh! Good work there on the feet by Max Holloway. We'll see if he can close the show now. Max Holloway's looking to finish. Max Holloway's on his game. Max is looking good. Max is ready to become the king of the featherweight once again. Oh, here's a kick to the body. Blocked, though, by Max Blessed Holloway. Right. Oh, misses with the jab. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie. Punch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him. All right, here we go with our second round. It is ready, Max ready. Holloway ready. and Anthony ready. Showtime Pettis. Nice punch by Holloway. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh! Oh, huge block! Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Oh, nice right hand by Max. Holloway gets tattooed by that straight punch. So 31 total strikes have landed for Anthony Pettis. Accuracy rate has dipped a little bit, 39% now on the connections against Max Holloway. Holloway going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. Oh! Head kick! Effective punch there by Holloway. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Three minutes now to go in this one. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Whoa! Oh! River kick! Who's hurt? Throws him up. Go get him. And that he comes knee, through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. Pettis's lower jaw now starting to show oh, signs. Like that he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his shoulder hurt very bad. Both of these gentlemen are putting it on the line. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Big punch lands over the top. Oh! Crowd loving it, just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. 
All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at three minutes, 31 seconds of round number two. Play the winner by knockout, Max Bliss Holloway. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public.